This is a Northern Trains 150 and recently through our digitalization program uh, where we brought CCTV and Wi-Fi to trains, what we've done is work with our partners in Network Rail and our SMEs as well to bring in-service monitoring technology to an in-service train. So with this being a 150, lovingly 40 years old roughly, we've got technologies like thermal cameras fitted which will allow us to see thermal hotspots we'll be able to see in the dark. But that allows that true picture to be really brought in where a normal CCTV camera might not be able to see what we're wanting to look at. Things like LiDAR allow us to see beyond the visual eye. So it allows us through laser technology, which were originally created by NASA many, many moons ago, literally to go to the moon. But that allows us then to see things like the embankments, the track placements, the OLE stanchions above our head. But along that with the acoustic sensors, we can start to actually trend how that journey of the train interaction between the track sounds but from a very detailed point of view overlaid with GPS data allowing that positional uh, change to be monitored and if we do pick up that change could that be something like a track void or a potential fracture in the track that we could pick up weeks months before it could happen allowing us to blend that in so we can lay back then the other technologies like the radar where we can see things a little bit more detail what the visual eye can't see working through into fog working. Radar can see right through the fog as if it's not there, along with the thermal cameras as well, so you can layer up that information. As we so different respective track engineers and operational engineers can also look at what is actually out there, what they would usually have to walk the track for and have a look at. These trains can now pick it up live and send that information back to them. So we're no longer hopefully going to be the victim of firefighting uh, incidents and issues that we may face on running a, a live railway like that. We can log in remotely, see how the train's performing, so no longer at the mercy of downloading large information off trains. The, the whole idea of this technology will allow us to start and trend the network, so little and often in that sense, so rather than doing it in a big bang. So what it allows us to do is look what the norm looks like for every piece of track within the northern estate, which is over 3,000 kilometres of track. And what it allows us to do is to gradually see the change in all vegetation or embankments slightly moving, or also the interaction between stanchions and, and the railhead is how things moving. And let's not forget TRU. TRU is a huge investment project for the north. We're doing a lot of work every single weekend and most nights as well. And as that work's happening, we can also overlay that with this technology and see how that work's progressing. Hopefully, as well, look at things like when we have to put emergency speed restrictions on. We can remove them much faster with this technology because we can see the in-depth of how that track work's happened and how the work and the placements are looking for the sign-off as well. So it allows us to really speed things up and drive that efficiency forward. So we do capture the raw images and we understand that will be huge amounts of data that we'd have to transfer off the train, but also then pass into network rail and respective bodies. And if we start to pass that amount of information, it almost becomes foggy in itself. So part of this project is looking at how we analyze that, drive forward software integration of them technologies. And it allows us then to take out the information we probably don't need and start to really focus in on the alerts and the issues that we want. So it allows us then to ensure that we're focusing in on the problem areas that we want to fix and focus on. The important piece is obviously we've taken an in-service train and fitted this technology and it is capturing them large sums of data. But we're also looking at the tomorrow world, the business as usual world, when we need to take that data, process it, and turn it into actionable information, embed that into Network Rail's core systems, so it's much easier for the end user to use and almost get used to the fact that technology is helping that person on a day-to-day -day duties of inspecting track, inspecting OLEs, checking that point eaters are working. Good example today, it's snowing. But it allows that intelligence to actually grow, that we get actionable information to the right person at the right time, rather than flooding people with information that becomes almost too much and clouds that judgment where we want to be driving forward intelligence and actual efficiency. The whole purpose of this is delivering on our partnership. So when Northern Trains was formed, it was working together stronger with Network Rail. Northern has to run passenger services because we have our customers at the core heart of what we do every day. And to deliver that more efficiently, we have to gather that data and share that data. So the pulse forward for this is Northern becomes the conduit for all that information, then turns it into actionable information for Network Rail so they can become more efficient and more active in terms of how they can work with Northern and other train companies like TransPennine Express 
so we can then work together to drive a more efficient railway. In terms of where we sit currently, this is a proof of concept train. So we're proving that in-service monitoring can be delivered. We also have an electric train fitted as well with pantograph monitoring equipment. And the idea is that we can blend that information together and prove the use case to drive that efficiency forward for railway as a whole that we can share not just in the north, even though we are pioneering this technology, but it allows us to share with all our colleagues in the country so we can then start to build business cases to allow that efficiency to drive forward for the whole railway. This new technology should, should help us run our services more reliably. Um, it will help Network Rail predict and prevent failures that might happen with the infrastructure. It helps Network Rail remove some of the people that have to walk on the ballast. So it allows them people to be taking our data and our information from a safe place to be able to work what's going on there. Improving not just workforce safety, but overall safety of our railway and allows our trains to run more on time.